Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Mr. Hino with Mr. Hino's Lego Robotics. Today's video is going to show you a little twist to the color sensor maze. If you didn't see that video, I'm going to put a link at the end of this video about that. But if your class wanted to try something different, if they were having a tough time with the color sensor maze because it was hard to hit those spots perfect, this uh, for our class ended up being a lot better. Um, the turns didn't have to be like quite so perfect. So it was just a way to help the struggling students uh, complete the maze a little better. So check this out. And after watching this video, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there. Come on, I know you can do it. So if you guys remember, this is what the color sensor maze board used to look like. I actually had to take a pencil and draw where the lines were for it. So the problem was is that we needed this board for other things and we couldn't just keep it this color sensor maze forever. So one day I just started pulling out all of the colored squares. The uh, problem though, as my student said, Mr. You know, how do we finish the maze if all of the colored squares are gone? So thus is where uh, the idea was to make this now a touch sensor maze. So if you can now see where the colored lines or the colored, uh, I don't know, rectangles used to be, uh, now the students would just activate their touch sensor just by pressing it at each corner. So let me go ahead and take you to the programming for this and then I'll show you what this looks like with a robot. Okay everybody, I'm on my LEGO Mindstorm software here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and program the first five turns just so you can get an idea of what the touch sensor maze looks like and then by then you should be able to figure out what you know it should look like to finish. It's just a matter of switching which motor makes the turn and it's super easy once you get the hang of it. So here we go. The first thing you're going to do, like the color sensor maze, is there going to be a move tank block that we're just going to turn on. I tell my students, drop that speed to around 30, just so they can see what's going on and it doesn't go too fast for them to make, um, you know, whatever their sensor they're using, make it too fast. Especially with the touch sensor, you want this to go slow so you have a chance to um, time it right. Then we're going to go to your orange tab here for this weight block. We're going to go ahead and set it for the touch sensor compare state which means when it gets pressed in something will activate which will be our turn. Now I don't know how you guys do turns. Um, I like to just do single motor turns but you guys do what you want. Um, I know that the motor that will need to make this left turn which will be a C motor. Um, I tell my students you know what just keep everything the same but you know you decide what you want for your speed and I, you guys already know I like degrees and I've done a little homework and I know that 425 is the perfect turn for these you know 90 degree turns. So the beauty of this is, is I just tell my students once you have that you know go and test that and make sure that's perfect but then they can just go ahead and control C to copy these three blocks and then control V to paste them and now they have their next turn already set up. Now the beauty of this maze is the first two turns are exactly the same. So I can keep these three blocks perfect. Now I'll just go ahead and hit control V again. This is going to be for the third turn and the only difference is this one's going to connect that with a data wire. This one's going to change from a C motor turn to a B motor turn. And that's all I got to do there. Um, and then the next turn is going to be identical to that. So let's do control V again. And we're still going to make a right turn. So I'm going to leave that. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, I got to change this to B. doesn't want to do that for me.
There we go. Okay, and then the fourth turn is going to be identical to that. So control V again. So the first two turns were left turns. The next three turns are right turns. So that's where I can let me connect this first here. So I'm going to need to change this to a B. And then I'll do the very last one here since I'm out of room. Control V again. And this one's actually going to be a C motor turn in the maze. So that's how easy that is to set up. Um, the nice thing about this touch sensor maze is I don't have to make my turns as perfect as I did with the color sensor. So my students that are doing this touch sensor one are like, whoa, this is a whole heck of a lot easier. So now what I'm going to do is go ahead and download this to my robot and I'll show you how this works on the board. So let's go. All right, everybody have the robot here downloaded the program. So before I run the program, let me just kind of preview what you're going to see. Um, remember that forward, hit this, make a left turn, hit this one, make another left turn, forward here, make a right turn, right turn, forward to there, make a right turn, it'll hit that corner right there and make a left, and that's, that's all we had the program for. And then, look at that, that would be half the maze right there. And look how easy that was, we just did, you know, for these five turns, we just did the 15 blocks and we're done. So let me go ahead and show this to you. Let me try to film this as I hit the touch sensor. So hopefully I can keep this in the shot. Here we go. There's that turn. There's that turn. That turn. Ooh, I'm gonna have to reach over here and get this one. Hit that touch sensor for that turn. Come over here touch sensor there we go so look at that I mean we've just all we would have left is that remaining for the the maze so for those of you that did the color sensor maze this is just another option um, I've actually had students before put their touch sensor on the front hit the board and then they'd have to in their program do a backup and then turn that's another option too um, that would be kind of cool to see so guys, this video was just showing you another option to the color sensor maze. If you ran into problems like me where you needed to remove the, the colored squares, you can do this as an option. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I am Mr. Hino from Mission Lego Robotics. I'm out.